Today, we're going to be testing out a bunch of different myths and glitches inside of Fortnite, such as what happens when certain bosses and NPCs meet. But the main one I want to look into includes investigating a ton of clues that Fortnite has added to the map about a Stranger Things collab. We're going to find out what's going on there. And speaking of which, guys, if you think it'd be awesome for Epic Games to give us all an extra refund ticket, quick, leave a like on the video and also make sure to subscribe for more fun videos. Now, before we hop into the next thing here, I've got something really cool to show you. I recently competed in the Omen Challenge. Now you may be wondering, what's the Omen Challenge? And can I maybe win some prizes too? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a game show brought to you by Omen, powered by Intel. It's hosted by the awesome Ron Funches, and I got to compete against seven other content creators that you may know. We played six rounds of six custom Fortnite maps to see who would bring home the grand prize. And best of all, you can watch the full series right now on Omen's YouTube channel, which is linked down below in the description with all of the episodes available to watch now. Oh, and did I mention over there that you can get a free uber eats code so you can watch and snack at the same time because yeah you can there's even a chance for you guys to win omen prizes through various giveaways they're going to be doing so go check out omen's pages for more details on that and also just go cheer me on i'd appreciate it all right guys but let's start off the video here with a crazy glitch that apparently has to do with the mythics the howler claws and this is different from the previous glitches with this because apparently you can use the howler ability like infinite times. So let's test this out here. We've got DJ Laika. She's pointing towards us. Oh, and by the way, there's a cool secret. If instead of doing the emote right here, go to a different one. It doesn't matter which emote you do because she will then do a thumbs down since you did the wrong emote for it, which is kind of funny. But yeah, apparently in order to do the glitch here, we need to go back to this and then of course get the mythic itself just like so. Come on. And boom we got it so as you can see it has the cooldown timer right there now all we got to do is run over to another altar however i think if we just walk into it with the claws equipped yeah it sends us backwards and usually she does an emote that's like no you can't do that but apparently she's uh not doing it today all right but all right instead if we drop the claws like that and then go on to the pad and do it again look at tuna fish go he's got the moves look at him <laughs> and then we get another howler claws now all we got to do is drop the current one for this howler clause and i believe wait for it to recharge there we go now let's try it out yes it works and why are we so bright right now yeah we can use the ability infinite times it's got no cooldown although this chicken is uh not being very nice what are you doing buddy i want to see what happens if we jump on top of the ball with the chicken oh my gosh we actually get launched pretty high up into the air that's kind of cool oh and hold up i almost forgot about the skin challenge for last video it was icebound midas so here Here's a ton of people that got that right. And this time around, comment the name of this skin and I'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right. But then after that, guys, let's start to talk a bit about the stuff with Stranger Things. Because check this out right here. If we go into creative, take a look at the creative map that Epic Games chose for this week. If you can't tell, it's Stranger Things themed. I mean, look at the sky. Look at everything. You've got lightning striking down like in the upside down. And that's obviously Vecna's house. Can we go back there? No, we can't even get back there. It looks so cool from this spot. But yeah, that's right from the show. And then you've even got the grandfather clock from the show as well. That's a pretty cool hint. And again, Fortnite officially chose this, which is pretty peculiar, right? Then if we go over here, we've got the house from the first season. And can we go inside of this one? Open it up. Oh my gosh, we can. That's so cool. Yo, you've got the lights for like the messages and stuff. A bunch of boarded up things like from the upside down. This has got to be one of the coolest creative hubs there is. And then, like, what else do we got? It looks like uh, some normal houses. Maybe some of the characters' houses from the show. You've got the trailer park location from the show. That's pretty sick. This is where Eddie plays the guitar on top of the trailer. So, yeah, I mean, this is clearly a reference to Stranger Things, which is very peculiar, right? It seems to be a hint towards that Stranger Things collab, but that's only the first clue. We've got so much more to talk about coming up. Now, next up, guys, there's some glitches and myths I want to test out with the jump scare zombies, such as, first of all, do they have a glider when they launch into the air? Although, wait a second, I just found a normal chicken, which is kind of rare in the new update. So get over here, buddy. I got another myth I want to test. There we go. Got him. <laughs> I want to see if the zombie chickens can infect a normal chicken and turn it into another zombie chicken. So, oh, there we go. I see a zombie chicken. I'm going to toss this one over there. And uh, nope, it's running. Wait, 
I'm confused. The normal chicken was running over here. Come on, zombie chicken. Stop chasing me. Go after this dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? You just ran right by. That's not supposed to happen. All right. Looks like that myth's busted. Now, it would have been a lot easier if we happened to find one of the throwable launch pads. But of course, wasn't able to find one. So we're going to have to grab a jump scare zombie here. Oh. One just spawned somewhere. Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, wait a second. What? There's literally a launch pad inside of here. Okay, let's grab that and then lure these zombies all the way out here like this. We'll throw the launch pad right there. That's honestly a perfect spot. And now we got to try and get them onto the launch pad. Easier said than done. No, what? They broke it. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a pain. Although that does give me an idea. Like we should be able to use this over here instead. Then lure these zombies up these steps. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. Oh no, what? The NPC is firing at them. No way. Oh gosh, that's not what I meant to do. How did it hit the build? I wasn't even aiming close to that. 10 years later. Okay, here we go. Try number two. Use the... What the? He launched out, right? Um, I think that worked. Wait, honestly, where did he go? What the? Oh, what? He's all the way down there. Okay, we got to go into replay to see what happened. So here we go. This is where, um, okay. How does he just like teleport upwards that fast? That makes no sense. And whoa, he gets launched too. <laughs> but he didn't pull out a glider. Oh, he got launched again. What the? Hold on. How did he get sent that high up? That's insane. And then he just straight up jumps off, falls down and takes no fall damage. Oh, okay. I guess that's still a uh, myth busted though. Before we hop into the next thing I want to test out, if you go up here towards the reality tree, I believe it might be over there. There's this insane hiding spot you can go into. You just got to do a little bit of parkour and jump up. And yeah, it's right down there. If we drop down into this spot, we've got this hidden area that is completely surrounded. There's like a couple of spots you can see out of, but you can't even really shoot through there. But again, it's practically completely hidden from the outside. It's a super cool spot. But hopping back into it here with the Stranger Things stuff, we got to figure out if this myth is true or not. So we're going to go back onto the map over to this location, the hunt. What the? How did it go over there? <laughs> Why is the indicator so glitched? But yeah, this haunted house, since it was added back in a recent update, people have been making comparisons towards Vecna's house, which it does look fairly similar, but there's even more clues about it. If we go on inside, there's actually a bunch of hidden secrets. And by the way, one bonus secret, it's kind of cool that they made this fireplace as soon as you get close to it, it actually turns on. But in terms of stuff that has to do with Stranger Things, also in this room is a grandfather clock that looks very similar to the one from Stranger Things, the one that Vecna uses. I mean, come on, it looks pretty much the same, right? What the? That zombie just like froze for a second. But again, that's not even the final hint towards this. If we then go onto the roof and find this spot here, we can break into a secret room that is completely upside down. The paintings, the television set, the rug, even the door, which is really weird. We can't even open it. Everything is upside down, which could obviously be a hint towards the upside down in Stranger Things. So altogether, is there going to be a Stranger Things collab this year? I think I got to put it as a possible considering all of this stuff that Fortnite has added as hints towards it. But then guys, another big myth I want to test out is what happens when an NPC fights the Inquisitor. Oh my gosh, there's so many zombies. Why? So first things first, let's run down here and spawn in the Inquisitor. Just like that, easy enough. Now I'm thinking we just need to lead him out of here. And then I want to bring him up to that NPC up on that hill. Oh my gosh, yep, he's following us. Okay. <laughs> oh geez, he's firing rockets at us. All right, he's kind of like paused over there. He's not really doing a whole lot. We've got rustler right up here maybe we can just wait does she notice him oh no she's noticing zombies dang it there you go rustler giving you a little bit of a boost there we go that's like perfect yes they see each other okay yeah she's fighting the inquisitor with only a pistol this is probably not a fair matchup she's running away back up here well he's kind of going back as well it's like a long distance fight oh no that's not good that's gonna be a direct hit oh no oh my gosh that had to have done a lot of damage right Oh no, Rustler got taken out and the Inquisitor didn't even lose his shield. But I mean, hey, myth confirmed, they can fight. But anyways, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well as turn on notifications for more fun videos coming up soon. You can also check out some of my previous ones here, such as going over how to unlock a secret skin. But again, hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.